<laughs> now, um, does this ultimately, do you think this ultimately will lead to more personalized medicine if we could identify based on age or sex or other, even other uh, demographics, ha what treatment is, is better for what patient? Uh, this is uh, one of our two objectives of this project. So to, to personalize treatment, uh, not particularly on age or sex, but uh, to uh, identify those patients that are high in leptin, low in interconnectin, for instance, or uh, and in, under, uh, in order to understand that, we also need to understand the uh, sex effects of these biomarkers. So you may have one criteria for the male patients, one criteria for the female patients. You also need to, to put into consideration the age uh, in order to set the values for, for the biomarker, the, 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 the limits on which is to, to be. Yeah. Is there um, any plans to study any of this further and, and kind of break it down even a little more? Uh, so this is just a part of a larger effort. So what we present on the poster is just this, the, the sex and age, but we also want to understand how these biomarkers are affected by treatments. So we have studied them uh, by how they are affected by, by, by the drug. Uh, in particular with the oral steroid, which is still one of the most commonly used drugs in, in asthma treatment for severe pain, for severe asthma patients. So how, how does that affect these biomarkers? We also want to go into the detail on the, on the mechanism. What exactly do these uh, mediators do in connection with asthma mechanism? Uh, uh, can we understand that? As I said, we can, can maybe identify new targets, but we also may understand better uh, why the different subsets of asthma behave like they do uh, and then better identify the right uh, medicine for the right patient. Okay. And then I guess the, the final question would be, um... I'm sure this wasn't your first virtual conference this year. How, how do you think it's gone? And what do you miss by not being um, in a poster hall, in a lecture hall and networking with your colleagues? Uh, I think there are, in a way, I like this new format, but there are, there are lots of uh, advantages. And that is that you yeah. can go back and look at the posters and you can see the discussion uh, by by the chat function. Mm -hmm. What I miss is the the conversations at the poster after the presentations, the, the possibility to meet with the presenters and ask face to face meetings with, with the presenters, and also to miss uh, uh, colleagues from from other universities. I mean, you, it's not that the vibrant discussions that are when you are in person. Uh, but apart from that, I actually like the, the format. Uh, there have been technical problems, but I think this is the first big conference, so I think that's reasonable. 